Hi. Cheers. This is just water. But I think you know what I'm talking about. My name is Professor Dr. Tom Sherian. I'm a liver transplant surgeon. And I'm always slightly saddened by the fact that approximately 25 to 30 percent of my patients have spoiled their liver by themselves through alcohol. So my message to people who drink is I don't need you to stop drinking but I need you to be aware of what is going on. So think to yourself do you need to have alcohol before you go to sleep? Do you have to have alcohol on a daily basis? Are you needing alcohol early in the morning or any time during the day? Are you drinking by yourself? These are key questions to ask yourself. And if the answer is yes, then it is a sign that you're going into an addiction. And once you go into an addiction, then there is a high chance that you will develop cirrhosis at some stage in your life. And therefore, social, what I would call harmless drinking, which is one or two units a week, which may be a can of beer or maybe two glasses of wine a week as a social exercise to spend with friends or family is acceptable. But when you're reaching a stage when those questions that you had to have alcohol, then you know that you're getting addicted. And therefore, then you need to find some way of stopping yourself before the liver is completely spoiled. What I would like you to know, that is an early liver disease. Even if you stop drinking, you can still regenerate your liver. The liver has got a beautiful capacity to regenerate and you can improve it back to almost normal. Whereas if you drink a little bit too far and if you got cirrhosis, then it is irreversible and the only treatment is a liver transplant. I hope you never reach that stage.